Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is part 2 of the 3D printed robot arm with gesture control. In this video, we will discuss the upgrades made to the arm along with the electronics and the coding. We will look into how the communication between Arduino and OpenCV is made. We will also discuss the Arduino code as well as the code related to gesture control written in Python using the OpenCV library. The major physical upgrade has been the portability where you can move around the arm without any cables attached while controlling the fingers with just a push button. So let's see how this upgrade was done and then we will look into the code. Uh, I upload videos on a weekly basis so subscribe and hit the notification bell if you would like to see more. So let's get started. So let's have a look at the pipeline to actually understand the code. So the first image on the left here we can see we have our original image and on the right hand side we have uh, our HSV image and in the middle we have our masked image. So we are using a color filter in the HSV space to actually detect our skin color and then we are taking that green window and cropping it out to actually display only the relevant uh, area for the arm. Now, after that, we get into the contours. We grab the contours and we are looking at the defects of the contours. And once we have that, we will classify the gesture, whether it's one, two, three, four, or five. Next, we are going to look into how the data is transferred from Python to Arduino. So we are using serial data to transfer the positions of our fingers. Here we have the dollar sign as the starting point and then we are sending zeros and one corresponding to close and open the fingers. So we have different gestures. Um, uh, in total we have six from starting from zero one two three four and five and for each one of them we have a combination of zeros and one that we are sending based on which finger is open or closed so now let's look at the code itself the first thing we need is the folder from the github page uh, we will just import it uh, in our project uh, this is the folder robot hand gestures and in that you will find two files main gestures and utilities so in order to run this you will need to actually import the libraries uh, if you're not sure how to install python or how to run uh, PyCharm uh, and how to install OpenCV with it. There is a video that I have done before uh, explaining um, the whole process so the link will be in the description. For now we are going to add our libraries by going to settings and here we will go to our projects and then we will add our libraries. So here we need uh, OpenCV 
and then we need numpy so everything that is up top you have to write down numpy and then we will also need so if you go into let me close this so if you go into utilities uh, you will see that we also need serial so again we will go to settings and we will add and here we will write serial so uh, the serial default here doesn't didn't work for me so uh, what worked was the serial device so I recommend to install that instead So once all of them are installed, you will see it's here and you will see that those red lines are gone. Okay, that's good. So the next step are the parameters where you have to define your camera number, your COM port of Arduino. And uh, then this is the green box that we cropped uh, from our original image. So this is the starting point. Uh, point the Y point and this is the starting X point and this is the width and uh, the height and the width of the box itself and this is the camera uh, frame width and the uh, frame height and this is the brightness uh, in case your environment is a bit dark you can use uh, a higher value for this to actually increase or decrease your uh, color brightness so then we will initialize our camera and we will initialize also the track bars that will help us find the color that we require uh, in our HSV space. And then we are going to connect to our robot. So all these functions are basically in the utilities uh, script. And if we go there, we can see here is our uh, initialization of the track bars. And here is the connect to robot uh, function where you are inputting the port number and it should connect to the robot and it will also give you a feedback whether the robot has been connected or not so next uh, we will get into our main loop here we are grabbing a frame or we are grabbing the image and then we are adding some blur to it then we are sending it to convert it into HSV space and then using these track bars that we initialized before we are going to apply the color filter so let's look at the color filter here so it's basically getting the range of values the HSV uh, color space and it is applying uh, a filter onto it and we are getting the mask out of it so if you want to go into more details of how this is done, I have done a video before on this. Uh, it will, uh, the link will be in the description. So next we are going to crop uh, this image and uh, using our rectangle, green rectangle that we initialized before. And then we will apply some more functions to actually help us with the filtering process the filtration process and uh, after that we will start uh, uh, the process of detecting the contours so here we have the function for getting the contours let's look at that so we are getting our contours and we are applying a small uh, filtration where it has to be above a thousand the area has to be above a thousand and if the area is above the uh, a thousand then we are going to try to find some defects in it and if the defects uh, are in a certain range uh, using some maths we are determining whether uh, it is qualified as a uh, finger or not so based on this we are able to detect whether um, we have two de uh, defects three defects so we can classify our gestures so again if you want to know uh, more about this i have done a separate video uh, regarding contours uh, the link will be in the description as well so once we have done that we are actually uh, stacking all these images together so that uh, it is easier to see using the stacking image function and uh, here is that function so again you just input the images and you input a uh, scale and it will uh, stack all these images together so this is one row and this is the second row so once that is done we have our final image that is the stacked image and then we can actually run our code and see the fingers moving based on our 
gestures. So if you want to actually see what kind of output is going to Arduino, you can go to the utilities uh, script and here you can find that we have the print string. So whenever we are sending the data, we are actually printing it out uh, before we are sending it. So we know that we are sending the right data. And if you remember uh, when we were sending data to Arduino, we were using the dollar sign and then we were sending out the zeros and ones uh, that we were getting from our uh, defects uh, in the contours function. So lastly, let's look into the Arduino code. We have our servos initialized at the top we have all the servo objects and then we are defining their pin numbers so we have 9 10 11 12 and 13 and then we also have uh, input button that actually lets us um, decide or select our mode so when you are turning on the system when the Arduino turns on if the button uh, is pressed it will go into the gesture control mode using OpenCV and Python. But if you are not holding it by default, it will go into portable mode where you can just click on the button and the fingers will all close. So here we are looking into that. So if portable is true, then it will use the button to actually turn it on and off. But if in the beginning uh, the portable was false, then it will receive the data and then based on the data received it will translate uh, those um, uh, those uh, what do you call values into your finger movements so let's look at the receiving data function so here we have the receive data it uh, what it does is it looks for the dollar sign and once it gets that dollar sign it will take that string and it will divide it up into pieces as we have five different uh, numbers and for each number it will save it into the corresponding uh, value of the finger so servo pinky uh, servo ring servo middle uh, etc so based on these values then we can uh, send the command uh, whether to open or close our uh, fingers so the code itself is fairly simple if you understand the basics of it and uh, I hope this helps you out and uh, you have learned something uh, through the process this project was a lot of fun and the end result was actually quite good so later on I am planning to use some artificial networks to train some gestures and deploy it into this arm so stay tuned for that i also have a lot of upcoming exciting robotics projects so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and i will see you in the next video